Different graphic filters, a rewind feature, and a save state are the new additions to this PS4 and PS5 port of The Legend of Dragoon. And these features can improve your playthrough in some obvious and interesting ways. First, the graphical filters. There are three different options to be chosen from and each have the same aspect ratio options. Two of the filters give the game a more modern polish, smoothing out the graphics. And the third, appropriately titled Retro Classic, gives the game that old CRT TV feel. And I think does a good job representing how this game was meant to look back in the day and was the option I stuck with once I discovered it. It also does a better job hiding some of the graphical imperfections the game has has, which I feel are more pronounced in the more modern filters. But it's your choice and all about how you prefer your games to look. Next is the rewind feature. I have never played a game with this feature before and I wish more games had it, as it's great for so many different scenarios. In The Legend of Dragoon's case, it can cut out some of the backtracking to get treasure chests and areas that rely on trial and error to find the right path forward resulting in a more streamlined game. It's also great to use when it comes to practicing each character's different combat additions. It can be used to perfect them or to quickly rewind and try again to deal maximum damage. Same thing with any character's Dragoon form physical attacks. I also used it a few times to rewind particularly bad decisions made in battle or to reread dialogue I might have passed by too quickly. Easily my favorite feature as someone who just wanted to replay this game again. Last is the save state feature. You no longer need to save in the field or at a specific save point like most of the RPGs of this era. You can now save anywhere, anytime if you need to step away from the game in a hurry. And that's all three features. Now get out of here and go play some games.